I just spent the night here at this location. The place is called Polesha. It's approximately 15 kilometers or so to the west of Puawa and the Vistula River. I'd say this is in central Poland, although I did put up on uh, my Instagram account and on uh, YouTube photograph that this is eastern Poland, but uh, it's, I think it's more central really than eastern, let's, let's say. Now, uh, what I find particularly attractive about the way that this uh, cemetery is being laid out, so we've got individual graves, as you can see, but we've also got the uh, the large stone blocks uh, which are in the centre sort of reminds me a little bit like of the stone circles you can get in the United Kingdom in Ireland and in Western France. Uh, of course, that's not really within uh, German culture too. It's just a, a coincidence. Why is this cemetery here? Well, it is quite common for military cemeteries, uh, small ones, to be closed and for, for graves to be bought, brought to a larger site. And that's what's happened here. This was built in the 1990s, so this is, was opened in October 2000, so it's 20 years old now. And uh, for motorhomers, uh, one little bit of information, in Germany, when you can't get water, one place you can always find water is in a cemetery. You don't need that so much in uh, Southern Europe because you can always find fountains, but in Northern Europe, uh, in Germany anyway, that, that's it. Here in Poland as well, water, I've never had a problem finding it. There's public fountains in many places as well. So I've got a bit of, it's a country road here, this little one here, and uh, at the top of, or rather to the left of this road, we have the uh, main road between Radom and uh, Lublin. That's about what, I think. there we can see it from here, kilometre down there. So despite the closeness of that road, which as you can probably tell is a pretty busy, uh, I didn't really, uh, didn't really hear, hear anything at all. Uh, it was really quiet. There's a, a deep ditch that looks a bit like a trench, but it isn't. And uh, I found this a very um, attractive place to stay. I mean, this is what I wanted to. Somebody wrote to me uh, and uh, a comment because I posted next to a place I, was, I stopped at, uh, visited, I visited Tesco's in a place called Zvolen. Somebody asked me if I sp spent the night there, and uh, though I said, well, I didn't ask, but why would I want to spend the night there? I wouldn't spend the night in a place like this, which is uh, out in the countryside, and uh, to me, super attractive. This place used to be called, oh, I forgot the name of that, Berkus, Berkowice, that's it. Uh, it was named after a Beretz who were, oh, had an agricultural business here. So you can see the, the way this, the, the grave has been laid out. Graves have been laid out. And to be able to visit places like this, this for me is what van life is all about. It's, uh, it's getting out into the countryside, it's contact with nature. And I really do appreciate it when you get up in the morning. I mean, just before four, it's light and we've got the birds singing and I think that's really wonderful. So, now I think I'm, I'm 
going to stay a little bit longer. Last night I had a walk around, I walked into the village, I spoke to the gentleman who looks after the cemetery. I can't get into the cemetery because of the coronavirus restrictions, uh, which so therefore it has to be closed. Uh, now those restrictions of course don't apply to everybody because when the at the, the height of the coronav coronavirus restrictions the effective ruler of this com country the head of the ruling party one Yaroslav Kaczynski he got uh, some kind of permission from from himself no doubt to go and visit the grave of his brother and so they got so they went there groups not respecting social distancing, not wearing masks, not taking any security and just really showing that there's one rule for the rulers and there's another rule for everybody else. Anyway, a little bit of uh, politics there. So anyway, I don't want to think about that because I'd rather think of the beauty of the place I've got around me <laughs> rather than the evil of people like Kaczynski. Okay, good. I'm going now to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have something to eat in this wonderful location.